All right, guys, welcome back. Another exercise index video. We just trained legs. I had to cast my breath. So I actually we trained them about 15 minutes ago. So one of my favorite exercises is hack squats. Now hack squats has a, it has a real funny reputation. You either love them or hate them. Now I think hack squats are great, but here's, here's one of the things I have seen. It's very dependent on the machine. I've been on some hack squat machines that were just terrible. And I've been on some hack squats that I've really, really liked. Um, so part of that is the machine you're on. Now the other thing is your foot position. That's more what I want to talk about today. How does changing your foot position affect uh, how your legs are being worked? So I'm going to get on here and I'm going to change my foot position and describe, in my opinion, how um, changing your foot position affects the muscles that you're working. Okay. So this is a low foot position. A low foot position tends to work more quadriceps, right here, okay? That's a lot more quad. Now, if you want to get more glutes and hams, high and wide. So we're going high and wide there. You're going to really be able to drive with your heels, right in your glutes and hams. It's also a lot of adductor. Now, let's say you want more outer quad, outer sweep. Right here. Right in the middle. So just to recap, if you want to target your quads more, I want you to go lower on the platform. If you want to get glutes and hams more and even, and, and even your inner thighs or adductors, high and wide toes out. And if you want a little bit more quad sweep, medium and narrow. Those are the three primary foot positions. You can obviously do a number of different foot positions, but those are the three main ones. Here's the other thing I would say. The very first one I described for quads with your feet low, you have to be really warmed up before you do that. And you have to be really careful about how much weight you use because that can put a lot of pressure on your knees, okay? So me personally, when I do high squats, when I do them is very important. I will never do them uh, higher than third in the routine. So I'll either do them as my third exercise or fourth. And I make sure my quads and knees are really warmed up. It's very important. I would never have someone come into the gym and get on the hack squat to start their leg workout. So third or fourth, be very careful if you're using that low foot stance, okay? Be very careful moving the weight up. And the other thing I didn't mention was I want you to keep your back flat against the pad. Don't let your pelvic girdle come off the pad or you, you can hurt yourself that way too. Um, that's it. So one of my favorite exercises is hack squats. Foot stance is low, high and wide or medium. Uh, different ways to target. Do them third or fourth in your routine and be careful when you're using that low foot stance. And that's it. Enjoy your hack squats. I'll see you next time.